Welcome everyone. Today we'll have the second event for the Festival chapter and Asian server just released it and what I've been doing is I've been testing on a few with different methods and I have gotten four so far. So let's firstly have a look at the Primal Gems. You can see over here on the recording the starter event as expected guys we're getting one Federal Reason and 60 Primal Gems and that is only the beginning. After that, we're looking at a total of 100 IT Primal Gems for doing 30 Savages. And one can do all of that in one day if we have the reason for it. So now it's 60 plus 180 is 240 Primal Gems. And finally, there are three side quests we can do for another 120 Primal Gems. So in total, we're looking at 360 Primal Gems for the second event. Lots of moral reward, lots of the meteorites, and to my surprise, a lot more meteorites. So lots of moral reward, lots of ascension materials. Similar to the first chapter, the second chapter has a pretty long chain of dialogue, which is voice acted, and you can go through all of those. Now, as we go through the dialogues, you'll be facing a set of different enemies. There will be two Whopper Flowers you'll be fighting. There will be some demonstration of the meteorite savage system, and you'll be facing a set of heal trolls with the shield ones being a little annoying. And a camp of Faturi monsters which are electric and geo. So those are more of the tutorial savage in the starter quest to complete for the 60 primal gems. Now after completing those tutorial and starter and claiming your 60 primal gems, we'll be promoted over here to speak to Mona. When we speak to Mona, she will open up four different locations on the map for us to fight the monsters. And if you come to each of the locations, depending on your world level, you'll be giving at different enemy of monsters and battle loots. So over here, you can see I have arrived at the location. I have finally turned my world level from five to six after you know waiting for almost six or seven days. So over here, you can see that my world level gives me 55 up to 75 monsters. What I did the first time is I tried the easiest one, of course. I want to see if I can do it without spending any reason. So let's have a look at the fight. I'll show you guys the first fight. I'll show you guys two fights actually. One is with the lowest level, one is with the highest level. Now I did purposely have Child on the team and having him on the team definitely helps because supposedly he gets 60% increased damage with Meteorite Slavage. And you can see on the top bar, I'll show you guys over here, you can see the top bar is 210 over 300. So once you fill up to 300, the if the the meteorite will disappear and you have completed this salvage. Keep in mind, if you have wild monsters that's outside of the map that comes to fight you, they will still fight you. So this is not an exclusive zone that takes away other monsters. What I did right away after completing it, I didn't loot with Risen. I want to see if we can do it without Risen. But unfortunately this time guys, unlike the Crucible, you have to spend Risen for it. So I wasn't able to get anything. So you can see 0 out of 5 over here. And I was like, okay, time to spend Risen. I don't mind getting a little less reward because I'm testing this for science for you guys. So notice I only got 35 of the Start Might. I could have gotten, you know, a lot more if I picked the higher ones. So coming back over here, we got 1 out of 5 and 1 out of 30. So that means in total, we need to do those total Slavage 30 times. And those are the rewards. Now, if you haven't subscribed, this is a really good time to do so. Make sure you also turn the bell on for the latest news as I find more of them for us. You can see that we're really dedicated for Genshin Impact. We'll have builds, guides, tips, news, and events updates for everything that's Genshin Impact related. Heading over to the next location given by Mona, this time I'm going to try the highest level with 75. Notice the reward it goes up by 5 each level. And currently I'm looking at 45, which is much higher than the 25 we expected from the shop before. I'll make a new shop guide once the new event comes up, or I can even update it after for us. So, this time the monsters are stronger. I did try to use child, you know, supposedly he gets more damage. What I want to focus with you guys is notice the blue zone that's around us. If you happen to go outside of the zone guys, something bad happens. I'll show you guys in this fight. So. Be aware of the blue zone. You do not want to leave the blue zone for more than one or two seconds. Usually more than one second is bad. And I'll show you guys why. So the slimes are much harder to fight, as you can see. And this time my Vendis ulti was on point. You want to use any of the zone control ultis to drag enemies into the zone, not outside of the zone. And you know, once this is much harder compared to before because they're 20 level difference, there is a level suppression factor. So they do more damage, they take less damage. And notice I'm currently on 180 over 300, but I'm leaving the zone very soon. So this Venti was run. I put them out of the zone. I want to follow them up. 
So I went out of the zone. Notice I went from 180, it went down to 60. And it went down again to 30. So all my hard work in the past two minutes or one minute is gone because I realized, you know, you can't go out of the zone. It goes red for one second and the next second you lose your precious energy that you've been gathering. So I have to redo the whole thing again, you know. This time I'm more careful, try to drag them into the zone now. And I will not be going out for any reason. So keep in mind the monsters will jump out, will jump back in. You can kill them outside of the zone, it still works. But your character cannot go out of the zone. So try to, you know, time your ulties like Venti or Sakuros or anyone that controls enemies. Don't push them outside. Keep them inside. And you can see over here. After knowing that we don't want to leave the zone, it's much easier because only three monsters spawn at the same time. And you know, just take your time. We have 10 minutes, there's no rush. But if you push them out, you have to do it again. So I'll show you guys the final fight. If you're facing a lot of slimes, don't do like me, hitting the highest HP slime, hit the lowest HP slime because you just need one kill to complete it, right? So there you go. I completed and we'll be looting. So this time I got 50, uh, 45 of the star's might. So 10 difference between the lowest and the highest for me and likely for everybody else. And you can see over here we have two out of everything. And this means after 30 runs, we'll have everything. 30 runs of this will cost a minimum of 600 risen. We regenerate 180 risen a day. So we're looking at at least three and a half days to get this. That is, if we don't spend the 50 primal, primal gems for the 60 reason recharge. I don't recommend using the federal reason because, you know, it will take us three days and the next chapter will come in six days. So, you know, there isn't a rush for us to complete this right away, unless you really want the primal gems, but you're still spending the primal gems for the reason, right? So it's not that productive if we rush them right away. And finally, once you have collected all four of the locations with mana that's given to us, what you do is you come back to Mona again and she will give you four new locations. I wanted to make sure that we can get new locations before I show you guys the replay or the recording guide because this way I cover everything that I can. So come back to Mona and nice to have a teleportation point. So you speak to her, go to astrology and she will find you four more locations. Notice this four is different positions and you can repeat this again for more of the farm and more of the excitement in gathering energy. To summarize this video, yes guys, we're getting 360 Primal Gems in total on the second event. Where we get them from is 60 from the starter and also 180 from the total savage. And after that, you can also get 120 from the side quest. What you need to notice is you have to spend your reason for each of the savage. And I recommend doing the highest one. But as you do the highest one, keep them in the circle, take your time, fight them. And this way you maximize the reward for everything. Now I do realize our shop guide is a little out of date because I assumed we get less of the materials. I assumed we got 25 of the might, but we're actually getting, you know, 35, 45 of the might. So it's even more valuable guys to go for the shop. I'll try to update the shop Excel. And if you want to download, go back to the previous video to download the previous Excel with updated version after this video is posted. Now, if you found this video helpful, make sure you subscribe and also turn the little bell on for the latest news. I'll be looking towards to make more builds, guides, tips, and news and event updates for us as we come further into the game. And as always, I wish you guys the best of luck with catching and have the most fun in exploring this wonderful world.